Your assistant doesn't suck. You're just really bad at leading. And if you've ever uttered the words, it's really hard to find good help or I'll just do this myself, it's actually not their fault, it's actually yours. Look, real talk, I've dealt with this before and I've seen a ton of agents deal with this exact same issue. It's the belief that the sheer act of hiring an assistant will make their lives easier so they'll go out and hire someone and give them something to do only for them to take that task back because quote unquote, they didn't do it right. Well, here's the harsh reality. They don't suck at their job. You're just really bad at giving directions. Look, there's nuance and detail that only you know on how and the way you want things done. And you're just very bad at communicating those things. So because of this, you end up giving really broad instructions for a task. Instead of actually outlining the instructions in writing, and it doesn't have to be detailed, just basic outline. Given the example of what is the definition of done, and this is super important, and then what you should do is record yourself doing the thing you want them to do three times. Yes, I said three times because there's nuance that's left out in the first and second recording of you doing the thing. By the way, quick attribution, shout out to Dan Martell for teaching me this one. And lastly, house all of the assets in one place where your assistant can find it, AKA the place where you delegate the task to them. And if you do all of this and your assistant still messes up, yeah, then you can find a new assistant.